guys. Why do you always do that? It's July 7th. <laughs> it is July 7th, and it's our three and a half year anniversary. We've been dating for such a long time. Doesn't really feel like a long time, I don't know. Because <laughs> it doesn't have school yesterday. Yeah, it really does. But we are gonna go to the outlets. They close at nine. Ugh. Uh, remember how big of a deal it was in our last vlog? We went to the outlets that closed at nine. Now it's not a big deal because she wants to go. Oh, <laughs> another right. roast from Ryan. Is it not? You're like, it's it not a bit yet. Nine. I was actually thinking about that. But we went a lot later than eight, like 15. It was like 8.20 when he wanted to go. We literally had like 10 minutes there. But anyways, so yeah, we're going to the outlets. It's probably going to close soon. But I want like Adidas shoes. Like he got me like really into them because they look really cool. And um. So the last time I went to like go try them on, I didn't have socks, so I didn't know if it, I should get the 7.5 or the 8. And I actually looked online and it said like order a size smaller. So I was going to order them online, but then I was just like, I should really try them on with socks in person just you know, to make sure. So hopefully they have the ones I want because maybe I'll just get them there. Maybe they'll have the color and size I want. That would be really, really nice because I think they've been sold out like almost everywhere I went. Unless well, you wanted the kind of like the weird front, like the little, the classic one too. Oh. You're not going to have the new ones here. They don't, they don't sell new stuff in the outlets. Really? Yeah. Should we not go then? I mean, yeah. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> I thought you were going to get the other ones. I forgot that the one you wanted to wear these. Mm hmm. Should we not go? Should we just go to like another day? Yeah, I tried calling him and then the automated voicemail thing just pissed me off, so I ended it. But I'll try again. So, hey. So we ended up not going to the outlets because I'm stupid. What the hell? Okay. But there's something in between. I'm stupid. I didn't think. I'm so stupid because I feel. <laughs> I'm so stupid because I didn't really. I'm so stu I'm so stupid because I didn't realize that the outlets don't sell new stuff, and the shoes I want are like two months old. He said, so they didn't have it, and it was too late to go to the mall. So we'll try another. We'll try another mm -hmm. day hopefully but they're really cool so I really want them soon but we are where it all started we are at Mountain Park just kidding not all started but he came here to do my six month anniversary thing and I asked him to homecoming here and what else there's just a fun spot to come because there's like a lake over here and it's so pretty like at dawn is this dawn or dusk dusk I think yeah um and and there's like swings and there's a dock and he comes here to fish and it's really just really pretty so I'm happy to be back okay, let's go so we ended up not going to the outlets because I'm stupid what the hell okay but there's something in between I'm so stupid because I didn't realize that the outlets don't sell new stuff and the shoes I want are like two months old, he said. So they didn't have it and it was too late to go to the mall. So we'll try another we'll try another mm -hmm. day. Hopefully. But they're really cool, so I really want them soon. But we are where it all started. We are at Mountain Park. Just kidding, not all started, but he came here to do my six month anniversary thing and I asked him to homecoming here and what else? So this was our six month anniversary where he surprised me with a dress to wear and mini M&Ms, flowers, a note and my favorite sushi and boba tea at Mountain Park. It was just the sweetest thing ever. Look how young we were, oh my God. Then the day after prom, he took me canoeing on the lake in Mountain Park and that was so fun. I had a really big fear of canoes because one time me and my parents went in a canoe and they were fighting in the canoe like which way to go and they made us flip and I was actually sleeping when they made us flip so I had a pretty bad fear. 
Then we just went for our 16 month anniversary. Yes, we were those people that did month anniversaries, but we just went to Mountain Park to just like enjoy the nature. And then after that, we went to our favorite dinner at Tokyo Boat. So junior year was a Sadie Hawkins themed homecoming where girls had to ask guys. So I put clues and props that were superhero themed all around his house, which led him to me at Mountain Park. I was waiting for him there in a superhero costume. So then I wrote on the poster, so now that you have saved me, will you fly me to homecoming? So for our senior homecoming, he surprised me at Mountain Park and he wrote on the poster, only the best get crown, will you be my homecoming queen? And that was because I was actually on homecoming court. And then he got me this James Avery ring that he engraved homecoming question mark, which I thought was so cute. I loved it. I still have that ring to this day. There's just a fun spot to come because there's like a lake over here and it's so pretty like at dawn. Is this dawn or dusk? Dusk, I think. Yeah. And there's like swings and there's a dock and he comes here to fish and it's really just really pretty. So I'm happy to be back. There's some swings over there and that's the little lake. You ready to swing? Mm -hmm. It's so pretty on this dock, and they have two chairs. <sighs> Here with my slushy and bay and nature. How much better can this get? You got lipstick on there? Oh. <laughs> you look cool. She thought this was pretty. I oh, thought she was pretty. Thanks, babe. Okay. I'm miss angle. What? I miss angle. <laughs> He's been doing that for a while, and I just noticed. Silly boy, Flynn. I feel like we're like old, sitting on our rocking Comment chairs. Comment below if you think we're old. <laughs> We are like sitting on our rocking chairs, even though these don't rock, and just enjoying nature with a nice cup of coffee, aka icy. How was your day? Work was slow. I only called eight people and emailed ten people. He's a working man now, an old man. <laughs> Look at the way you're I sitting. You're so, hmm? you're so old. You're so old. Got my newspaper. <laughs> oh, put on my thumb. So what's been the best part about dating me for three and a half years? You're my best friend and I can share everything with you and hmm, everything because you treat me like a princess even though I'm not a princess. Basically that I'm dating my best friend is really cool. It's really important to have a relationship based off of friendship because obviously it's going to last longer if you're dating your best friend rather than having it based off of physical. What's the word physical? Attraction. Physical attraction. I mean, obviously you're very cute and handsome, but you're my best friend and that's the best part. What's the best part about dating me for three and a half years? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> You're always fun. And I get bored really easily. So she's always there to make me not bored. Um, I'm pretty. I can show you off a lot. Um, she's always looking for some new adventure. So it keeps me keeps you pretty busy. I do keep you pretty busy. You're only mean to me sometimes. Hey! <laughs> Sometimes I can be in a bitchy mood, but what girl isn't in a bitchy mood? Half of the month, right? What a perfect way to end our three and a half year anniversary. We didn't do much. She wouldn't let me do anything with her. I asked her to go out to eat, she said no. I asked her to go to the mall, she said no. Turn around. Okay. We're going out tomorrow. Don't let that fool you. Yeah. I think we're gonna hit up Bar Taco because I've heard so much about it, like in all other places too. And your Del Taco is nice. Del Taco. 
Hey, that's like a fast food restaurant. Yeah. What is it? It is. Oh. Yeah, so Bar Taco or Fix on Can Street. We'll see which place we choose and which one we're craving at the moment. So guys, these are my new socks. They're Saturn Gray. <laughs> Shade 405. <laughs> nude. Nude? Those are nude? You can't put them How do you that. think they look at my skin like that? This blends so well. Ryan just informed me that Kylie Jenner has a song. So he's showing it to me and I'm like actually scared for my life. Cause if you have heard Kim Kardashian's song, it was really bad. Are you sure it's not her like snapshots like taken and like auto tuned in a song? You sure? That's really weird. We're just reminiscing on some memories and like on our first half year anniversary, he brought me here. I went to my friend's house to get ready and he surprised me with a dress and then flowers and M&Ms and then he like, she drove me here and whatever and he was here with like Sushi, my favorite sushi, that was awesome. And then my favorite boba tea. What happened? But anyways, so the dress he got me. It's so ugly. Yeah. It wasn't like the cutest. I don't know, it just like wasn't very flattering. But at the time I thought it was cute, but now I'm just like, ugh. Well, she was in a weird stage back then. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. now he is so stylish. He can style me any day. You can never tell from her vlogs because she always makes me vlog in like ugly clothes. <laughs> you mean I'm wearing ugly clothes? I'm talking about my own style. Oh. Actually, I haven't bought clothes in a long time. Yeah, you should go shopping. That's good. Okay. So, so. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. So we are at my house right now and I decided that we should like play Wii because I took it out like recently and we're gonna try to play Just Dance so I feel like this is gonna be really funny because Ryan has no rhythm. He a white boy. He dances like a white boy. What are you doing? <laughs> I won! <laughs> you did a good job. You tried. So the pink score is me, and Ryan is blue. Ha 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 ha. Ryan finally beat me in the eye of the tiger. It's probably because it's a white boy song. <laughs> he wasn't far from me though. Don't get so excited, but you getting better, boo. Proud of you. Hey guys, so it is July 8th and I have no lipstick on. I'm a hot mess. I put on fake lashes again today. 
and I think I did them a little bit better yesterday. It was actually legit not even on my eyelash line. It was on my eyelashes, like really sideways. It is just the funniest thing to me. I really need to like learn how to put them on. So I've been practicing and hopefully I'm getting better at them. So I'm just finding a lipstick that I want to wear. I was so close to re-wearing my outfit from yesterday, but I decided not to. So I'm wearing this top I hauled in my Instagram baddie haul. And I'm so glad you guys liked it. I was thinking, should I just name it Summer Haul Part 2? But then I was thinking, like, all the clothes are, like, super, you know, Instagram baddie. So, Ryan is here. I gotta go. I wanted to rewear my outfit from yesterday. I told them. But I decided not to because I knew you were just going to call me an outfit repeater again. We are going to talk on Mac. Did we decide? Yeah, that's what you want. I want Taco Mac. I said I want Taco Mac. She's like, okay, we can do it tomorrow then. No, I said we can go to Fix or talk, um, Bar Taco tomorrow. So we're going to go to Taco Mac because I am craving sweet potato fries. This one time he said we were going to Taco Mac with his family. And it ended up we weren't. And I just, like, my heart broke because, like, my mouth was, like, watering for those sweet potato fries. I discovered them. And I'm on the menu. Like, really? Yeah. I've never seen them on the menu. That's kind of weird. Ryan just asked for a portable charger. What happened? Oh, yeah. Well, he asked for a portable charger and it's funny because I just filmed a what's in my purse video and I talk about how it is so important to have a portable charger in your purse. Ryan, you need to carry one in your purse. She gave me one and she broke it. And I did not break it, you broke it. Oh my God, I literally gave him like three or something. Whatever. I will buy you like so many on Amazon. They're so cheap on Amazon. What? What? It's not blended? It's like a straight, black line. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> My contour, I didn't even blend it. <laughs> <laughs> I bought the LA Colors Concealer off Amazon, and I didn't really know what color I was, so I just got like the darkest one which was so stupid of me it was not my color at all so I tried contouring with it and yesterday it worked and today I was just like oh my god this is awful and it was just like so dark for me and I like did a contour line and I wiped it all off but I guess I didn't wipe that line off <laughs> and I forgot about it I'm pumped for some sweet potato fries and some wings I think my new favorite food is wings like I think I like it more than sushi Nah, okay, maybe not. <laughs> so I just realized that Florida doesn't have Taco Max, do they? Because I went to a Buffalo Wild Wings and their wings were disgusting. I was so sad. I'm gonna miss this place when I leave. Hey. So we're thinking about getting penny boards. Because Ryan used to be a skater. Can't you tell? <laughs> My wings just came. I get honey chipotle wings if you guys are wondering and these sweet potato fries are probably the best sweet potato fries ever. People don't know who ta what Taco Mac is. Probably think it's like a taco place. <sighs> just restocked on my mints. You'll see that in my next video. I don't know when this is going up but my what's in my purse video. Yeah, I'm just chewing out on a pickle. What about you? We're going to the mall. Oh shit, I didn't bring my Forever 21 thing. Let's start walking. You're funny. You got some candy. We got some candy for the movies. Ooh, that Reese's though. Look how big it is, guys. It's huge. It's so thick. I like the peanut butter cups that are like smaller because then there's more chocolate than peanut butter. But he likes more peanut butter than chocolate. Opposites attract. <laughs> But I got some Kit Kats for the movies. We are going to see the Mike and Dave movie, like, Need Wedding Dates. Like, I think it's called something like that. Anyways, I'm really excited to see it. Today is the opening day, and I feel like I haven't seen a movie on the opening day since, like, my 15th birthday. Or maybe it was, like, even 14th birthday. I went to see, like, Twilight on the op one of the opening days. So I'm really excited because we're going to go see it in the red seats, which... I don't know if you guys know, but like Regal redid their seats like a while back. AMC? AMC? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. AMC did their seats a while back and now they're like reclining red, big comfy couches. They're awesome. 
Hopefully we won't fall asleep. Ryan said he's going to fall asleep because it's so late. It's not that late. It's at 9. Yep, it's 30. Oh, yeah. But anyways, I'm really excited to see that movie. Maybe we'll give a little movie review after. So we just got out of the movie Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. And what did you think of it? Uh, it's kind of cheesy, but still funny. Yeah, there were a lot of like predictable things that happened. But I mean, I, I would still say like go see it because I liked it. But funny story, actually super not funny. Like the movie would have been funnier, the people who were sitting next to us weren't sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the people next to us were laughing so hard. Like it was not- like not fucking funny. Not funny. I funny. know, it was so loud. And like, I feel like that's happened the past two times I went to the movies. We saw Neighbors 2 last time and that happened like, like but this time we were like super the right next to them. Movie. Yeah, people were like laughing like, right next to us. It might sound like I don't really have a humor, which sometimes I'm just like, that wasn't really that funny, you know? But it wasn't that funny that you had to like laugh out loud. You know what I mean? Like I was chuckling to myself, but like seriously, it was just so loud. And I was just like, seriously, do you know how loud you're being right now? I mean, you know, I'm glad they enjoyed it. I feel like I would have enjoyed it more if it was just like me and Ryan watching it, like at home or something. We sat down in our seats. They were like still warm with trash in the last movie. So that was kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm tired, I guess. Bye bye. So, this is my like night routine, we'll call it. Like, I literally wash my face and wash so Snapchat. Funny story, I was washing my face like maybe like three nights ago, maybe five or something. And I had my Snapchat and my phone like up here while I was washing my face. And all of a sudden my freaking phone falls into my sink. And the sink was filled with water. I was freaking out because my phone has gotten water damage like more than one time. And it was just so annoying to deal with. And I just like smacked the water out of it. And I fixed it, so we're good. Because sometimes it just messes up, like it'll freeze and stuff, so. But now I'm gonna take my makeup off and I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm so tired, I think my head hurts from that ponytail. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.